most of the people who go to the gym do not have any specific goals. That's why they are not seeing any results. When you don't have a goal, uh, then you don't know where you are going because goals provide a roadmap to you. It's, they provide a direction. So most people don't have that direction. So that's why they don't see results because they don't know where they are going. So they join the gym maybe because their friends are joining the gym or because maybe they also want to be known that they are going to the gym and that's the wrong thing to go to the gym. Most of the people have very diverse needs. They really need to go to the gym but then they don't define that cause or the reasons why they want to, the, to go to the gym. So how then do you set goals? Uh, the, the thing is about setting goals is that you have to uh, first of all define your goals. That's, so there are so many types of goals. Yeah. It could be maybe you want to lose weight, you want to gain muscle, you want to improve your cardiovascular endurance and all that. Yeah? So those are some of the goals. Yeah? But then how then do you break them down uh, so that they can be able to uh, be something that you can be able to achieve? Because some people set higher goals and then they fail uh, to reach them. Some set too low and then they, uh, they don't see any results because there is no struggle or effort. So, what we do is uh, we set SMART goals. Yeah? So SMART goals, that's number one, be specific with your goals. So uh, specific goals be like, uh, I want to lose uh, 10 kgs in the next three months. So that's a, a specific goal. You want to lose weight within a certain period. And then number two, it has to measure, be measurable. So whereby your goals have to be quantifiable. And when they are quantifiable, they allow you to track your progress. Then number three, they have to be achievable, whereby they have to be realistic in a way, they have to challenge you, but also they have to be attainable, that's, they have to be within your capability. So uh, that's number three, they have to be achievable. And then number three, number four, they have to be relevant. Yeah. So your goal should be aligned with your overall fitness and relevant to your life. Yeah. So uh, you cannot set a goal that's not relevant to your your goals so it has to be number three. and then number uh, last i think five it has to be time bound so set a specific time frame that you want to achieve your goals uh, so that this can add urgency to your and also structure to your efforts so, because if you don't have time uh, then you are not going to uh, put enough effort or you're going to put less effort but then when you are you are restricting yourself sometimes it also adds that pressure that keeps you going, you know, that kind of motivation. So set your goals and that's one of the keys to succeed in the gym.